from my from my experience, it feels you know there are, there are any things that you feel. It feels like it's getting hotter. It feels like there's more extremes happening. We've got 15 kilometres of river that runs through the property, um, and it flooded a few years ago to being the highest flood that we've ever had here. You know, it touched the homestead. It never ever happened before. My dad, who's been here his whole 68 years, had never ever seen that, and he didn't believe that that was going to happen until it did. So there's those things, you know, and, and that fl that river flooding stuff, you know, is it to do with extreme events because you get more cyclonic rainfall, but also then there's other issues like more erosion, more silt in the river, um, more build-up in the river, the floodplain's not working as effectively, a lot more runoff because the vegetation's not there. So, yeah, I guess it's about whether... And see, in the future... Um, that any changes, and that's what I said before, I think any slight variation in temperature or even a slight decrease in our rainfall during the growing season will affect the ability to even be able to grow broadacre crops here. Um, and so that, yeah, I guess there's all those things associated to how do you do you make a living from, from a property like this? Because there's management decisions as well involved with not cropping. If you've got big cleared paddocks that you don't crop, there's potential for weed problems, there's potential for erosion if they bear off. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things, I think, a lot of things to consider in that about how climate can affect it, about, yeah, about the long-term stuff for us.